In 1880, uh, D.L. Moody came to St. Louis, Missouri to preach the gospel. And uh, the local newspaper, the Globe Democrat, had agreed to publish his entire sermon on the front page of the paper each evening. In the local jail was a fellow named Valentine Burke. He had been a, a longtime burglar. He'd spent about 20 years already of his life in jail, and uh, he was awaiting sentence. And a few days later, uh, someone threw a newspaper into his cell where he was spending some time in solitary. The title captured his attention. It read, How the Jailer of Philippi Got Caught. And so he picked it up. He was kind of excited to read it. But as he got into the article, he thought, what, what kind of rubbish is this? I mean, surely the newspaper's got better things to print than this. And he threw it down with disgust. But as time went by heavy, slowly on his hands, he picked up the paper and eventually read the whole message. And the Spirit of God deeply convicted him. And about midnight, he got down on his knees in the cell and he cried out to God to save him, just like the Philippian jailer. A couple of weeks passed and uh, he was called up before the judge and turns out that he was released on a technicality. Well, he was friendless, he was jobless, it was tough. And he couldn't get a job and he hawked around St. Louis and finally decided he'd try New York and see if he could get a job there. And so he traveled by train out to New York and spent six months, little odd jobs here and there, but he couldn't get anything solid and finally decided to return to St. Louis. When he got back to St. Louis, the local sheriff, uh, Sheriff Mason, contacted him and asked him to come and see him. And he thought, mm, maybe there's an outstanding warrant. But he said, um, you know, as a Christian now, if I'm guilty, I'll plead guilty. But when he was called into the office, the sheriff said to him, you know, I, I sent a detective after you and they shadowed you the whole six months you were in New York and I was just waiting for you to fall and you never did. Your Christianity obviously is the real thing. And he offered him a job as a deputy in the police department there. Valentine Burke uh, had such a testimony in that town as a man that God had gloriously saved. And on one occasion when Moody was visiting in St. Louis, he went to see Burke, who at that time was protecting a, a display of diamonds. And uh, D.L. Moody was astounded that they would take a man who had been a former burglar and put him in that position and saw the dramatic change that occurred uh, as a result of Calvary's love. Sometime later, Sheriff Mason gave Valentine Burke his rogues gallery photo and Burke took it and uh, turned it over and wrote on the back of that photo the words of the 113th Psalm verses 7 and 8. He raises up the poor out of the dust and lifts the needy out of the ash heap that he may set him with princes, with the princes of his people. The tremendous power of the work of God in a life, taking a thief and turning him into a glorious testimony, into a jewel. They will be mine, says the Lord, in the day that I make up my jewels. <laughs>